Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to my wonderful unboxing. Sorry, let's just situate this a little bit more. And today I'm going to be unboxing kind of my surprise because I haven't really been talking about this so much. Um, and I did actually kind of unbox this yesterday because my parents were here and I was like, oh my goodness, um, my author copies have come and yeah, you know, I wanted to show them off to them. So they have actually been officially unboxed. So you're not going to hear any tearing or anything. Um, but I'm super excited and I'm going to apologize because I'm a little stuffed up. I had a sneezing fit right before I came on. Um, but let's dive into this unboxing and you're going to notice I have my tabs here because I tabbed some, uh, places in here to show you guys, but this is, um, Secrets of Galathea. And before I show this off too much, Secrets of Galathea is actually um, a collection of shorts. So this is a nice fancy paperback box set of shorts that I have. And um, the shorts are actually, let me pull myself down here. Those are what is inside of here. And I'm super, super excited because I knew I wanted to do this for them. Um, and I wanted to have like a nice, nice little book for them to be inside of. But um, <coughs> sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to showcase this beauty. And I had Cover a Day actually design my book cover. So shout out to Cover a Day. You can find them on Facebook and they actually do. It is Cam Robinson and she actually does live creations in her group on Facebook, um, which is Cover a Day. So, but here's the back and it is gorgeous. My parents were gushing over this book cover because they were like, oh my gosh, you have such amazing covers. And I'm like, I know. I know my, my book designer is fantastic, um, but if you guys do not know anything about Secrets of Galathea, I'm just going to read the back for you guys. And excuse me, words are so hard for me today. I haven't had an adequate enough amount of um, coffee today, and I think I'm getting another cold, so I'm at kind of bad of sorts. <laughs> But here we go. Journey to the Depths in this fast-paced collection of four short stories based in the same kingdom spanning from centuries to weeks apart. A merman and his brother are tasked with protecting what belongs to their people, and failure is not an option. When two 17-year-olds witness their prince threaten an infamous sea witch, they have no idea how soon all of their lives will be intertwined and what secrets lay in the depths. A prince must decide what is most important, the people or his relationship with his brother. And a soon-to-be king must do what is right, even if it costs him everything. Each story highlights a specific character and their current struggle in the kingdom of Seleth. But one thing is always the same, the strength of the characters and the magic that lives within them. So that is kind of sums up all of the stories in there. and. <clears throat> um, sorry, my throat is bothering me. And I'm super, super excited about this. Um, each, let me see, each story has, excuse my, like my lovely bookmarks here, has its own little chapter header that I designed. Each one is different because I wanted to separate, um, <clears throat> let's see, I wanted to separate the stories because they're all, they're all connected, but they are all very much different because it follows a different character. And if you can't tell, I love the octopuses. So, <laughs> and I love this one. This one's probably my favorite because it is just like a sinister, sinister octopus there. Um, 
And let's see, Cam's here. Hey girl, I shouted you out for this lovely, lovely cover. Thanks for joining. And Amber is here saying pretty. It is gorgeous. Cam did such a beautiful job. Um, so shout out to my wonderful designer. And if you guys notice, this is not a typo. Um, I wanted it to be a take on a mermaid tail. It is not a typo. It's just being me, being silly me. Um, so, and there is actually something that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I actually dedicated this entire collection to the Massachusetts beaches that I grew up on um, because growing up on the beach was such an important thing for me and it inspired so much of this and as terrified as I am of the water and uh, at, like swimming in it now because it just you know so much the older you get um, I just loved growing up on the beach. I was a mermaid. I had like my underwater kingdom and everything. I was not a princess though. I was a warrior and <laughs> that is how I grew up. And Melanie is in the comments saying beautiful covers. Yes, yes, Cam did all of these beautiful covers. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, and oh, Amber is down there, just jumped on me, saying, yay, New England beaches. Yes, yes, they are freezing. Just so you guys know, um, in August is generally our hottest month up here, and um, the beaches are still like maybe 60 degrees, unless you're in a harbor, like a small harbor, which is generally where I grew up, and they turn into bath water. Um, and then you get all the jellyfish, but that aside, um, the, the actual beaches, like right on the coast, they are freezing and I loved going in them, even though they were like 50 degrees. And I think one time I went in the water, it was June and my parents were like, no, it's freezing. And I went in there, I stayed in there and they were like, you need to come out now. Your lips are turning blue. So <laughs> that is the fun New England beaches. Um, also, guys, I am going to be um, answering any questions that you may have. So if you have any questions, drop them below. I'm going to um, kind of go along my agenda that I have here today. Um, and I'm going to let you guys know a few things um, aside from kind of like what these stories are really about and where I got the inspiration for them for. Um, but drop those questions below and I will answer them as I go on. I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet because I want to jump over to Instagram before I lose my voice and completely. <laughs> so if you have questions, drop them below and I will get to them momentarily. All right, so first things first, um, we did the unboxing. We showed you the lovely, lovely, loveliness that's in here. Um, I also have, mm, let me see, I didn't show you. The one thing that is the same throughout all the little shorts is my seam divider, which is like little starfishes. Um, but that aside, so my inspiration for these stories actually came from reading mermaid stories and not seeing actual strength in them. And, and I know that sounds like, oh, you shouldn't be saying that. Uh, but I wanted to see something aside from like, um, just happy mermaid stories. I wanted depth to them and no pun intended. I really wanted depth, depth to them. I wanted to see like actual political problems. I wanted to see, um, Something that didn't really circle around romance. There are bits of romance in here, but it is not the center of everything. Um, Brotherhood of the Sea is about the two brothers and about their different views and how they want to protect um, their kingdom. And they each go about it differently. Bindings of the Sea um, is about Zinnia. And Zinnia is a very strong character. 
she's kind of like, if you like the trope of the chosen one, she is the trope of the chosen one. And she's just kind of like a farm girl that should not be in this um, pristine, like uh, prestigious um, academy where all the rich people are. And well, mer people, I should say. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, so she shouldn't be there and she is, and she ends up showing up everybody and saying, not saying, cause she's very humble, um, that she ends up, you know, proving herself in a way and she gets entangled into this, um, political intrigue and she gets roped in and in into a place with her friend Drew that they really shouldn't be but they are and they have to figure out this together and end up helping their kingdom so I don't want to spoil everything because they are short and sweet and um, they're roughly around 10 to 15 K so that's really like 50 ish pages each um, and then uh, voice of the sea is about Rory and how he's dealing with uh, Prince Rory, the youngest. Um, he is trying to deal with all of the mess that the, the kingdom is in. And he, like Brotherhood of the Sea, it kind of goes back to the squabbling of the brothers and the difference of views, but in a different way. And then by the time King of the Sea comes around, more comes into light and you get to see um, the air lock, his view and all of those. Um, so I'm so excited about these. I loved working on these shorts and I will say, you're hearing it here. This is a background to a series that will be coming out. I do not have any um, deadlines for that. So I can't, I can't say like, oh yes, it's coming out this, it will be coming out. I can't say when because I have a huge backlist, but these are important stories that you're going to need to know for the future series. So, but let me see what you guys are saying here because I just like yabbered on about <laughs> um, Candace is in the comments and she's saying that the water is brown down there. Yeah, our water is like dark green and it kind of, honest to goodness, it looks like this. That's the color. You can't really see the bottom. It's not nice. Um, you more than likely are going to be stepping on spider crabs. That's why I don't really like it. <laughs> Melanie's in the comments saying she needs to start the books. Well, you know, if you want to rack up some points on your Goodreads challenge, you can either get them individually or you will be able to get the entire collection, which comes out actually on Tuesday. So you can either buy them individually, you can start at book one, which is Brotherhood of the Sea, see if you like it. If not, then you don't have to continue. But if you want the entire collection, you will be able to get it um, in this beautiful box set, if you will. Um, let's see, Connie's here. Hey girl, you remembered. <laughs> Um, and then Connie's also asking what made me decide to expand this series. Um, you know what? The Brotherhood and Bindings were actually in another series, not another series, um, the Mermaid Anthology that I was in I two years ago now. Oh my gosh, was that really two years ago? Um, it was originally in the Mermaid Anthology and I actually had so much fun writing the both of them. And I fell in love with Prince Ruri. Um, he's actually my favorite. I adore him. I love Drew too, but Prince Ruri, like, spoiler guys, not really a spoiler. Uh, well, no, it kind of, he was originally supposed to die. I, I will leave it at that. Whether or not I actually followed through with that, I can't say. But he was originally supposed to die. And I, like he he is my heart. Um, but I fell in love with him so much that I decided to continue with him. And then I was like, you know what? 
people are gonna hate Locke, but honest to goodness, like he's rigid, but he's a good guy. And he doesn't mean to be a jerk. He just, he doesn't want to see what happens in brotherhood. You know, like he doesn't want that to happen. So that's all I'm gonna say. You can make up your mind whether or not you like Locke. There's no wrong or right answer to that. I do enjoy him. I'm not gonna say I love him. I feel bad for him because he's he's pretty rigid. <laughs> Let's see, more questions. Um, Melanie is asking, when you were playing on the playing your beach, what color was your tail? I don't remember. I was probably yellow because yellow has always been my favorite color. Always, always been my favorite color. Um, if I was going to be um, any kind of animal, it would probably always be yellow, like a yellow dragon, a yellow unicorn, a yellow pegasus. Like it was always yellow. So probably more likely than not yellow. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go down and answer all these questions while I'm at it. When are you going to wear a mermaid tail? Cam wants to know. I don't know. I have to go. <laughs> I have to actually get one and it will probably be yellow. If not yellow, I would love to get one that kind of looks like Zinnia's tail. And she has like this fiery like coral, um, like it's ombre. It kind of like goes from coral to red to pink. So I would love to have one like that. Those are really fancy and really expensive. So probably not that. Uh, I'll probably end up with a plain yellow tail. And Cam's noticing frozen behind me. So that's actually um, a picture of <laughs> my lovely daughter. That I forgot to move, but there you go. Um, she wanted to get that picture um, taken when we were in Disney and because she's obsessed with Frozen. So there you go. Um, and then Amber wants to know, who is your ship going to be? I, I want to say... Prince Rory is going to be your ship. Um, he's kind of like your type, but then you might also like lock because um, I'm gonna kind of change gears a little bit and talk about webtoons because I know Amber enjoys webtoons. He's kind of Q-tip-ish. So if you guys don't know who Q-tip is, he is... <laughs> He is in a webtoon, um, I Love You, Y double O, and um, he's one of the characters, and he's kind of he's kind of like Locke. So I don't know. I don't know, Amber. It's up in the air. Cam <laughs> um, saying, don't be lame, get a mermaid tail. I know, I really should because the beach is like 10 minutes away from me and I could have some fun pictures with my books. So, but um, I'm gonna switch gears just a little bit here because um, I wanna talk about something that's gonna be coming up and it does involve this book. Um, March is gonna be a very busy month for me and I just wanna shout out, I'll be having more information, information words today guys, I need the coffee. Uh, more information is gonna be coming out, but I'm gonna have a couple giveaways in March. One is going to have two um, chances to win a copy of Secrets of Galathea and also my friend Lou Willem's um, Tales of a Sea Witch. And we will be holding a giveaway each. So that means both, both of us will have a, a package to give away. And both, that means four books are gonna be on a giveaway, but two chances. Does that make sense? I don't know, I need coffee. But anyway, inside of the giveaway, I'm actually gonna be making some um, beach, it's gonna sound weird, beach flavored <laughs> lip balm, but it's not gonna taste like the beach, it'll be tropical. Um, I will have the lip balm and I will also have wax melts available inside of this giveaway. Um, I'm just letting you guys know to be on the lookout because that will be coming out in a few weeks and I will come out with some more um, information the closer we get. 
and also how to participate. But that is super fun. And then also I'm gonna be having another giveaway, but I'll get into that a little bit more um, because it's not related to my mermaids, unfortunately. It is related to Hunter's Truce and that's all I'm gonna say about that. So <clears throat> stay tuned for more information and more teasing information because um, this giveaway for Hunter's Truce is gonna be super, super exciting and fantastic. So I'm trying to figure out what to talk about next because, <laughs> because my brain's not working today. Um, so if you have any last minute questions, drop them below. If not, I'm probably going to wrap this up just because I want to <clears throat> have a voice and it's starting to go. Um, but one last thing I do want to say is that um, – Secrets of Galathea really was um, a blast for me to write. I also knew that I wanted to eventually make this into a um, novel series too. I wanted to span a couple more centuries ahead and create a new story, new characters with cameos. Um, but I, these stories, hold a really special place for me in my heart because they were actually, Brotherhood and Bindings were my first published pieces. So they they were the scariest ones to write because I'm like, oh my gosh, like how is this, how are people gonna perceive this? Like, I don't even know. And um, they were very well received, especially Zinnia's story. Like everybody fell in love with Zinnia, Andrew. Drew is just the ridiculous sidekick that never should have been. Um, just a little behind the scene thing. He was never ever supposed to be inside of the story. The only reason that he was is because I felt like this particular scene was really dull and just kind of like ho-hum. And I wanted her to have this reaction, like interaction and somebody just kind of like calm her down a little bit. And there is a particular line in um, Bindings and it was talking about like how Drew kind of like stuck himself to her like a barnacle. And that basically is what he did inside my brain. He was like, no, no, um, I'm going to be a character in here and not just a character, but I'm going to be like a <laughs> main character and important to Zinnia's story. So. There he is. And it's funny how characters do that to us writers. Um, so there you have a little backstory on Mr. Drew. He is uh, a love bug. He's kind of like the guy that you just want to hug all the time. So if you guys have any last minute questions, let me know. Otherwise, I am going to sign off and get set up for an Instagram like little chat because <clears throat> I need to get some water before, <laughs> before I hop over and talk some more. Um, so I'm going to start wrapping this up and let you guys know where you can find me. If you're new around here, most of you that are in the comments right now are some of my great buddies. So thank you for showing up. But if you do not know where to find me, you can always find me on elbowmontbooks.com. You can find some fabulous fan art there. You can find um, all kinds of stuff like where to find my books information about me, um, how to contact me if you wanted to an interview, <clears throat> all fun stuff like that. Um, you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Elbowmont Books. And you can also find me on Twitter, which is just Elbowmont. Um, but wait, also you can also find me on YouTube. YouTube is Elbowmont <laughs> for unboxings like this. Most of them are a little bit more put together than this. I'm so <laughs> But thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I hope you do join me over on Instagram um, and have some awkward chatting some more. So have a great day, guys. <laughs>